careful not to get too close, I might just go with it. My name's Ella, I've been playing tennis for 18 years and I'm an aggressive baseline player. Hi, I'm Joe, I've been playing tennis for 15 years and I'm an all-court player. Hi, my name's Finley, I've been playing tennis for 20 years and I'm a baseline grinder. <laughs> it was powerful, it was definitely a very powerful racket that allowed me to hit good winners as well, even off kind of mid-court balls which was absolutely perfect and really suited my game style. It allowed me to have more power from the angles because quite often I find sometimes, especially if I'm out wide because I am quite petite, I struggle to generate that power but with this racket it was no problem at all. The racket just felt like an extension of my arm. It felt really natural in my hands. Um, supreme power, you know, uh, really easy power off the forehand and backhand. Uh, yeah, it felt really good. It's, um, it's close to that kind of power and sort of easy power and, and just natural feeling personally for me. Um, so yeah, this was, this was pretty close to that. Immediately, as soon as I hit the ball, I mean, you could just feel like there was just so much feel behind the ball. And as soon as I started like hitting, the, hitting through the ball, it was just such a lovely, lovely feeling. Like, I felt like I could really rip through the ball like with plenty of control, but also speed as well. Um, yeah, it was so much fun. Like such an easy racket to play with. Like, there was no, I didn't feel like I was gonna miss hit the ball. I felt like I was timing all of my shots, like sort of like real center, center of the strings. Yeah, it felt great to play with. I got moved out a couple times on the forehand side and it just felt like the smoothest swing ever. Um, felt like I was easily able to control the ball, give me plenty of time to move back to the center of the court and recover. Yeah, really, really nice to play. I didn't really need to put anything extra into them, just blocking them, the racket did the work with the power um, and accuracy. Um, for control on the volleys, it was brilliant. Uh, I didn't have to put any extra effort in to get it just right on the strings. Uh, the smashes felt similar to the volleys. Uh, again, I put a lot of power into my smashes, but uh, the racket worked really well with that. Um, got a little extra oomph off of that, yeah. Yeah, it was, it was definitely, it's definitely a racket for touch. Um, you get great feeling from the ball, great feedback. Um, makes it really easy to make any minor adjustments in between volleys. Like you really know where you are with the racket. It's not, it's not stiff. It's, it's not, it's not a stiff frame at all. Yeah, lots of feedback. Feel, feels really good for the touch. Great feeling on the smash as well. Easy, it's so easy to generate power. Like no effort on the ball. But it still felt like I can control it. Um, I didn't. I don't think I missed one smash. Felt great. Yeah, really good. The volleys were great. The volleys were really, really good. They really allowed you to like direct the ball and also just to get a really good feel on the volley, so you can mix it up with harder but also have a good kind of touch as well. It, it, I play quite a lot of doubles so I think it will really benefit my doubles game because it will allow me, especially with a high ball, to then be more aggressive in attack. Uh, it felt really good, felt like I was able to get a really nice swing on it um, and, then, and then also generate some really nice power as well. I uh, felt like it was just really nice to control. Yeah, felt good for a flat first serve. Uh, spin serves were good as well. Like uh, definitely, were definitely again with like the um, with the feel and the feedback of it. I really felt like I was able to really sort of like brush up the back of the ball quite nicely, which I don't always feel like I'm able to do. Um, something that is very special in a racket, I think. Um, this one feels really good. Yeah, flat serve was good because sometimes you find with flatter serves, some rackets don't allow you to have the control, but this allowed you to have that. And typically, I have quite a spinny kind of serve, so I'll kind of go lefty out wide is my typical one. Uh, but even then going down the tee was really good, it allowed me to have good spin control and actually have good power on the serves as well. Uh, serve felt really good, um, really easy to get it right in the right area on the racket, um, good consistent strike, felt good on the serve. Not quite, I didn't get quite the same feeling on my second serve. Um, I would have liked to get a bit more spin on my second serve with the racket, but still, still feeling pretty good on the second serve. Yeah, definitely, because it allows you to kind of really hit aggressive balls and actually really set up good placement for then coming into the net and finishing that point. So it'd be good for both singles and doubles players as well. I'd say the racket really does suit an all-court style of play because 
I don't have to think about how much power I'm putting into my short shots when I'm pushed out wide. The racket will give me that confidence to hit the ball when I'm pushed out to the sides. Absolutely. I'm just able to, I'm able to rip forehands and backhands from the baseline all day with this. This is, you'd have no problem with it. It's perfect for that. I feel like it's perfect for the kind of like ripping the ball, generating lots of spin, but also being assertive and dominant on court if you want to insert some power into the point as well. Yeah, I feel like it's perfect for my game. Um, I think it's great for a player who wants to be cool on court, you know, the sort of the cool blue, almost like a mint. Uh, it's really nice if you're really focused. I really like it. Uh, I actually, it's a really, really smart colour scheme. Uh, I really like, the, like, the, uh, like the, the light blue and the black. I think it's a real, real smart look. I think it's good for any player. Um, yeah, it looks gorgeous. I love the colours. I really liked like, the um, turquoise colour. I thought it was absolutely amazing. Also, I think it's a good racket also for like females as well, because so many of them typically tend to be quite male colours, but actually, I love this racket. It was such a nice like colour, design, feel, and actually the weight of it as well is heavier than what I usually play with. So I'm usually going around 285, but this being 310 was absolutely perfect. I, I really do, because I, I don't think there's going to be many rackets, I think, like this, that are going to give you the feeling on the ball, the control, the power. Also, it's just how easy it is to play with. There's no, there's no difficulty with playing, playing with this. Sometimes you play with a racket and it feels really stiff and it doesn't feel nice to play with, but this one's just immediately you pick it up and it just feels, yeah, absolutely great. Definitely, oh, 100%, I would easily pay 220 for this racket. Definitely a fair price for this racket. I would, you know, I'm considering buying this racket myself, honestly.